So, my husband and I got our beta reading this morning. Our RE's office actually uh, called us sometime before noon. She's wonderful. She just called us. Um, like I said, there's that new person taking care of these calls. And um, anyway, she called us, so I didn't have to worry or um, wonder. And um, they were looking for a beta reading of 100 or higher. And we got a 593. So obviously I'm over the moon and happy. But I almost kind of can't believe it. Uh, suddenly the... I don't know, just the thought that we've... We're on the path. We've not been denied this time. It's great. Um, obviously, we've got uh, immune testing to do on Monday through the Allen Beer Center, and um, and then we've got the uh, beta reading to take next on Thursday, Thursday next week. Um, just make sure that it's advancing as it should. They said they want to see it double every two days. I think I don't know. Don't quote me on that. And. Um, <laughs> And then if, based on what they find out on Thursday from that blood draw, they'll do an ultrasound, I guess, the following week. So in about a week and a half, we should have our first, first ultrasound. And, and it's still so hard for me to just say, wow, really? You mean we weren't getting a low, low, low? We weren't denied this time? We weren't getting a low, low beta reading? Something that's there but not viable. Oh my god. Excuse me. Um, it's just good. Because we've never been this far before. And it's, it's, it's really early yet. It's beginnings. But it feel as far as a uh, first beta reading, a day 12 beta reading, I feel like for us, we knocked it out of the park. And like I say, you know, there's more to go, more to find out in time. So far, so good. Super pleased. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to let all of you know. I haven't been able to talk to my grandmother yet. She had a hair appointment, and uh, I don't know, just hasn't quite called me back yet. I know she's chomping at the bit to know, though. So, um, but I told we went over and told my in-laws, my husband's parents, and they're really happy. They're very, you know, they don't emote a lot, and they're very kind of reserved people. Boy, were they happy, though. Um, and uh, my best girlfriend, my sister, she's very, very, very happy. She's coming over on Sunday. She didn't know if she was going to come over and um, cry with me or celebrate with me, but, yeah, it's really cool. She's Her husband's going to watch their little boy, and she's just going to come over on her own. And My husband will be probably most of the way done with the Jet game. Or I don't even know when it starts. I don't know, maybe the three of us will watch the Jet game together. I don't know, it's just going to be a fun Sunday. So I've been told that I need to start uh, Lovenox twice a day now, 40 milligrams instead of just once, and keep up on all of the other meds um, at the same dosages and same frequencies. Uh, so that's it for now. Anyway, it, this is surreal for me. I'm really happy. I don't know if it's showing, but I'm really happy. And um, I'm so happy to share this with you guys. I, I was thinking I might even have to share the kind of disappointing sad news, which we've all had. Um, but I'm really, I'm really pleased to share with you guys this happy news. And I know that you guys will be, I know you've been cheering us on and, and all of that. And so here you go.